gray and black white today and day night today and that yen today you gave a cent today what had several chateaus when folks Still can ride in jitneys, find out Vanderbilt's and Whitney's black baby clothes. Anything goes. When Sam Goldwyn can, with great conviction, instruct Anna's men in diction, then Anna shows. Anything goes. When you hear that lady men standing up, now does a hand. Landing up on her toes Anything goes Just think of those shots you got And those knocks you got And those blues you got From those news you got And those pains you got If anything you got From those little radios So Mrs. R With all her trimmings Can broadcast the bed from Simmons Cause Frank will know Anything goes I know a man named Otis who invented a roof And his heart was filled with pride I said to Mr. Otis, what does your room do? He said it goes from side to side So I said, Mr. Otis, if you take my advice You'll be the richest man in town You gotta take that room that goes from side to side And make it go up and down And that was good advice Good advice Good advice costs nothing and it's worth the price I sincerely doubt that the world could do without my good advice A man named Mr. Waterman invented a tube he was sad because it sprung a little leak. He said, darn it, when I hold my tube on a piece of paper, the ink leaks out and makes a little streak. He said, I've got to find a way to stop that leak. I'll start working on my leak-proof tube again. I said, Waterman, you idiot, don't stop that leak. You just invented a fountain pen. And that was good advice, good advice. Good advice costs nothing and it's worth the price. I'm so worldly wise, I should get the Nobel Prize for good advice. Good old Henry Ford, he was a hard-working man. He worked all night and all day. I said, Henry, what you doing? And Henry, he said, I'm inventing the Chevrolet. He said, I've already built 25 models, one for each letter from A to Z. I said, Henry, you fool, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. He said, good heavens, I forgot the Mont And that was good advice, good advice, good advice, plus nothing, and it's worth the price. It's a little less can be, and it's absolutely free, my good Magook was a Neanderthal man, a very poorly educated soul. He had a great big square thing made of solid stone, and in the middle of it was a hole. One day he had to go from his cave in Natchez to his uncle's cave in Mobile. I said, round off those corners and buy a set of tires. And ookie, baby, that's a wheel. Good advice costs nothing and it's worth the price. Harvard offered me a Phi Beta Kappa key for good advice. Alexander Graham Bell was building a fence with some wood and a long piece of wire. He said there's something strange going on around here. I keep hearing the voice of Uncle Meyer. I said, Mr. Graham Cracker, that was my little joke. With that wire, you got the world in your power. Just get a mouthpiece and an earpiece and a piece in between, and you'll sponsor the telephone hour. Good advice. Good advice. Good advice. 
about nothing and it's worth the price. Every word you hear is the message of the year. It's good advice. Christopher Columbus was a seaman second class when I told him that the Indies could be found. By sailing to the west instead of sailing to the east I advised him that I thought the world was round I really thought so And then I sent him down to ask good Queen Isabel To pawn her jewels for all their worth Next day he set sail And as everyone knows He fell off the edge of the earth Well that was bad advice Bad advice Bad advice is just the same as good advice Everybody makes occasional mistakes, and that was bad. In Sherwood Forest there dwelt a knight who was known as the righteous Sir Green Bomb. <laughs> and many dragons had felt the might of the smite of the righteous Sir Green Bomb. I chanced upon him one morn when he'd recently rescued a maiden fair. Why, why art thou so forlorn? Sir Green Bomb is thy heart heavy laden said he forsooth tis a sorry plight that engendered my attitude bluish said he I don't want to be a knight That's no job for a boy who is Jewish <laughs> All day with the mighty sword and the mighty steed and the mighty lance All day with that heavy shield and a pair of aluminum pants All with the slaying and slewing and smiting and smoking like Robin Hood. Oh, would I could kick the habit and give up smoting for good. <laughs> and so he said to the other knights, you may have my possessions and my goods for I am moving to Shaker Heights where I got some connections in dry goods Farewell to the dragon's claw and the other swashbuckling games and sports Sit together watching TV every single night, munching popcorn from a dish while observing Dorothy Gish. Dorothy Gish, Dorothy Gish, what a dish, what a dish. Oh. Alan Yetta 
couldn't have it better Their TV set has remote control So they both can stay in bed with Frankenstein and Mr. Ed Mr. Ed Stay in bed Good dish What a dish Hell and get a fans of Arkley Glad And they love to sing along with Mitch They just found in TV Guide reruns of December Bride. December Bride. TV Guide. Mr. Ed. Stay in bed. Dorothy Kish. What a dish. Oh. They're big fans of Gunsmoke and Bonanza. And Ben Casey and Dr. Jim Kildare. And third reruns of Millionaire. And fourth reruns of Yogi Bear. Millionaire. Yogi Bear. December Bride. TV Guide. Mr. Ed. Stay in bed. Dorothy Kish. What a dish oh. Alan Yetta Love to watch Loretta When she enters Through her fancy door They just love the real McCoys Walter Cronkite and the Bowery Boys Real McCoys Yogi Bear TV Guide Stay in bed What a dish Got Wrinkly watching Huntley Brinkley at College Bowl on Sunday afternoons. While they both watch Meet the Press, Yetta yearns for Elliot Ness. Elliot Ness. Meet the Press. Boys. Real McCoys. Millionaire. Yogi Bear. TV Guide. Mr. Stay in bed. What a dish. Oh. Alan Yetta watched an operetta. Land Bernstein told them what they saw. They both shouted, Hail Bernstein. Then they switched to What's My Line? Bernstein. What's My Line? Yes. Meet the Press. Boys. Real McCoys. Yogi Bear. TV Guide. Stay in bed. What a dish. Told Yetta something that upset her. He said, dear, our picture tube has blown Yetta answered, woe is me For tonight we shall not see What's my line? Meet the press Real McCoys Yogi Bear TV guy Stay in bed What a dish Call me Ephraim Zimbalist Get me Bobby Kennedy Then call Dave Ben-Gurion too Then tell Carol Baker I'm home now Tell her Mastroianni sends love from Rome now Then get Hank Mancini and tell him Fred Fellini is waiting Where the heck is the song? Order scotch and ice and then ring up Barbara Streisand and then set up a conference call with Sammy Davis and Charles D. Gall. <laughs> Call me Walter Cronkite and tell him Nancy Dickerson said that David Brinkley was wrong. Then get Conrad Hilton in Bombay. Tell him Tuesday night I want peaches flambe. Call Chief Justice Warren and tell him Sophie Lauren is worried. Is she married or not? Then call Arthur Schlesinger. No, no, send a messenger with the saddest news of the bunch. Tell Lady Bird I'll be late for lunch. <laughs> Dial up Liberace and while up Joe Valachi and tell him Lucky sends his regards. 
find out where Onassis's barge is. Call him, ship to shore, and reverse the charges. Locate Melvin Belli and tell Mel when I fell, I was scratched by Princess Margaret's rose. Then call Lola Brigitta. This week she's in Wichita. And then when you reach Cary Grant, tell him I'd love to, but I just can't. Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila Oh, the day they met Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila no one will forget Harvey's a CPA he works for IBM he went to MIT and got his PhD. <laughs> she was a girl I know at BBDNO. She works at the PBX and makes out the checks. Then came one great day when Harvey took the elevator Sheila got him two floors later Soon they both felt they were falling Everyone heard Sheila calling Ring the bell, but they fell Harvey and Sheila fell in love Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila chose a wedding ring Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila married in the spring she shopped at a and p he bought a used MG they sat and watched TV on their RCA Borrowed from HFC, bought some AT&T, and on election day, worked for JFK. Then they went and got a charge of plate from R.H. Macy, bought a lay at Pink and Lacey. Then they had twin baby girls, both with dimples, both with curls, one named B, one named K. Soon they joined the PTA. <laughs> Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila moved to West LA. Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila Harvey and Sheila flew TWA. They bought a house one day, financed by FHA. It had a swimming pool full of H2O. Traded their used MG for a new XKE. Switched to the GOP. That's the way things go. Oh, that Harvey, he was really smart. He used his noodle. Sheila bought a white French poodle. Went to Europe with a visa. Harvey's rich. They say that he's a VIP. This could be only in the USA. This song is from my new album. It's an album of Academy Award songs. And this song is the Academy Award winner of 1953. I sing it very emotional. Once, I had a secret coat Where A was B and B was G G was K and K was J And J was M and M was P 
V was X and X was V. And you was I and I was you. 87 stood for Z. And 2 for T and T for 2. That is how we won the war. My secret code's no secret When I was a lad, I went to Yale, and I knew then that I could never fail, for I studied very hard, and furthermore, I polished up the apple for the professor. He polished up the apple for the professor. I polished up the apple so frequently, that soon I had a Phi Beta Kappa key. He soon had a Phi Beta Kappa key from polishing the apple very frequently. On graduation day, I made a stop at a very exclusive clothing shop. I opened up a charge account and asked them for the best gray flannel in the clothing store. The best gray flannel in the clothing store. That suit was a part of a great intrigue, for it proved I was a member of the Ivy League. It was part of a great intrigue. Then I got a crew cut and a sincere tie And for my first job I did apply A job in an advertising agency Sharpening the pencils of a big VP Oh, we a lot of pencils for a big VP I sharpened all the pencils so pointedly That now I am a partner in the agency He sharpened all the pencils so pointedly That now he is a member of the agency I kept my ears open and my big mouth shut And I learned all the agency scuttlebutt I learned who was going out with whom And who had the keys to the powder room And who had the keys to the powder room For the key to the powder room, you see Is the key to the structure of the agency The keys to the powder room It's the key to the structure of the agency I worked real hard for the dear old firm I learned most every advertising term I said to the men in the dark gray suits Let's run it up the flagpole and see who salutes Let's run it up the flagpole and see who salutes I ran it up the flagpole perfectly So now I am a partner in the agency He ran it up the flagpole perfectly So now he is a partner in the agency Now I have a big office at the end of the hall With very fancy carpeting from wall to wall I keep my mouth open and I keep my ears shut And I've got a little palace in Connecticut and it's got a little in so I thank old Yale and I thank the Lord and I also thank my father who was chairman of the board. The sixteenth was the king of France in seventeen eighty nine. He was worse than Louis the fifteenth. He was worse than Louis the fourteenth. He was worse than Louis the thirteenth. He was the worst since Louis the first. <laughs> King Louis was living like a king, but the people were living rotten. <laughs> so the people, they started an uprising, which they called the French Revolution, and of course you remember their battle cry, which will never be forgotten. <laughs> you went the wrong way, old King Louis. <laughs> The population cried Cause all you did was sit and pet With Marie Antoinette In your place at Versailles And now the country's gone kablooey 
So we are giving you the air That ought to teach you not to spend all your time Fooling round at the Foley Berger If you had been a nicer king We wouldn't do a thing But you were bad, you must admit We're gonna take you and the queen Down to the guillotine And shorten you a little bit You came the wrong way, old King Louis And now you ain't got far to go Too bad you won't be here to see That great big Eiffel Tower Or Bridget Bardot say fooey you disappointed all of France but then what else could we expect from a king in silk stockings and pink satin pants <laughs> you filled your stomach with chop suey and also crepe Suzettes and steak and when they told your wife Marie that nobody had bread she said let them eat cake We're gonna take you and the queen down to the guillotine. It's somewhere in the heart of town. And when that fella there is through with what he's gonna do, you'll have no place to wear your crown. You came the wrong way, old King Louis. Now we must put you on the shelf. That's why the people are revolting, cause Louis, you're pretty revolting yourself. was automation I know that was what was making the factory go it was IBM it was Univac it was all those gears going clickety clack dear I thought automation was keen till you were replaced by a 10-ton machine It was that computer that tore us apart Dear, automation broke my heart There's an RCA 503 Standing next to me, dear Where you used to be Doesn't have your smile Doesn't have your shape Just a bunch of punch cards And light bulbs and tape Dear You're a girl who's soft Warm and sweet But you're only human And that's obsolete Though I'm very fond of That new 503 Dear Automation's not For Me It was automation I'm told That's why I got fired And I'm out in the cold How could I have known When the 503 started in to blink, it was winking at me, dear. I thought it was just some mishap when it sidled over and sat on my lap. But when it said, I love you, and gave me a hug, Dear, that's when I pulled out its plug. <laughs>
The doctor was looking at the x-ray And I asked him What do you see? And he kept on looking at the x-ray As he said In French To me I see bones I see gizzards and bones And a few kidney stones Among the lovely bones I see hips And fourteen paper clips Three asparagus tips Among the lovely bones I see things in your peritoneum That belong in the British Museum I see your spine And your spine looks divine It's exactly like mine Now doesn't that seem strange? And in case You use pay telephones There's two dollars in change Among your lovely bones Oh, hello there, nurse Come over here and look at this x-ray It's really remarkable Isn't the lumbar vertebrae supposed to be connected to the clavicle? Well, I know, but with scotch tape Hey, look what's in there Look at that, it's a stamp It's a 1922 McKinley Ultramarine Blue With imperfect perforations I've got to get that out and put it in my collection Look in there, there's printing What does it say in there? U.S. Certified Grade A Look at this, it's fascinating See those little round things? You know what those are? Those are M&M's Those people are right, they don't melt Among the lovely Hungarian food They have a goulash Which is very good Or if you wish a dish That's Chinese Somewhere down in column B There's lobster Cantonese Enchiladas That's what people eat in Mexico Shish kebab is skewered In Armenia, you know Then there's Blubber The favorite Of the frigid Eskimo such delicious dishes, no matter where you go. Chicken cacciatore is Italian. Kangaroo souffle must be Australian. Mutton chops are definitely British. Chicken soup undoubtedly is Yiddish. Palm comes from Lithuania. Hansen Fenferk. Comes from Pennsylvania. Wiener schnitzel's Austrian or German. Kindly pass the sauerbraten and Herman. Borscht is what they're eating in the Soviet. Wait, I think we've got some on the stove yet. <laughs> See the mau maus underneath the jungle sky. Jolly mau maus. Eating missionary pie. <laughs> Frenchmen eat a lot of bouillabaisse there. Dutchmen eat a sauce called hollandaise there. Smorgasbord in Sweden is the winner. In America, it's TV dinner. <laughs> so there you have 
One food from each land Each one delicious Each one simply grand Mix them all up In one big mishmash And what have you got? Hungarian goulash Hey! <laughs> Commercials give me headaches Just when I'm feeling chipper as you please That's when they show me all my sinus cavities Headaches, headaches Those sponsors don't care how I headaches See that announcer, he looks so fine His head should ache like mine Pounding hammers give me headaches They say it once and then they say again Oh, tension, pressure, pain Oh, tension, pressure, pain Headaches, headaches Those sponsors love it when my head aches Mother, don't hand me those pills from the shelf I'd rather do it myself Commercials give me headaches Fast, fast, fast Headaches Headaches Aspirin commercials Give me headaches Today I swallowed The best cure yet I ate my TV set <laughs> Grass. Here's to the mortgage, in fact, here's to suburbia. Lay down your briefcase far from the rat race where nothing can disturb ya. Uncomplicated, it's what we waited for so long in this city. Come, let us go there, live like Thoreau there, a life of sweet simplicity. Did you set the thermostat? No, I don't know where it's at. Tuesday the Cub Scouts meet again. Walk the dog and cut the grass. Take the kids to dancing class. Jim's Little League got beat again. Can't keep a maid here no matter what they're paid here. The place has bad publicity. Why did we move here? Don't you remember to, to live, live in sweet simplicity? Here's two mosquitoes. Clam dip and Fritos to golf and bridge and scuba there. 
Men wearing knee pants, women in capri pants, discussing what's with Cuba there. Each big appliance treats you with defiance until it finally falls apart. Call the repairman, in a week he's there, man, to knock your kitchen walls apart. Tommy's got a bloody nose, gotta fix the garden hose. Book of the month club came today. Didn't read the last one yet. Yes, you did, but you forget. Oh, well, they're all the same today. Here's Mrs. Ritter, she's the babysitter. Tonight going joyously back to the city where life is gay and witty back to the noise there that everyone enjoys there back to the crush there hurry let us rush there back to the rat race don't forget your briefcase back in the groove there say why don't we move there away from all of this sweet simplest Fada. Here I am at Camp Granada. Camp is very entertaining. And they say we'll have some fun if it stops raining. I went hiking with Joe Spivey. He developed poison ivy. You remember Leonard Skinner. He got tomain poisoning last night after dinner. All the counselors hate the waiters And the lake has alligators And the head coach wants no sissies So he reads to us from something called Ulysses Now I don't want this should scare you But my bunkmate has malaria You remember Jeffrey Hardy they're about to organize a searching party. <laughs> take me home, oh Matafada, take me home. I hate Granada, don't leave me out in the forest where I might get eaten by a bear. Take me home, I promise I will not make noise or mess the house with other boys oh please don't make me stay i've been here one whole day <laughs> dearest father darling mother how's my precious little brother let me come home if you miss me I would even let Aunt Bertha hug and kiss me. Wait a minute. It stopped hailing. Guys are swimming. Guys are sailing. Playing baseball. Gee, that's better. Mata Fata, kindly disregard this letter. <laughs> get on a bus because one hippopotami is two hippopotamus and if you have two goose 
That makes one geese A pair of mouse is mice A pair of moose is me <laughs> A paranoia is A bunch of mental blocks And when Ben Casey meets Kildare That's called a paradox <laughs> When two mates fall in love With all their heart and soul You'll find the plural of Two minks is one mink stole <laughs> Singulars and plurals are so different Bless my soul Has it ever occurred to you That the plural of half is whole. <laughs> a bunch of tooth is teeth. A group of foot is feet. And two canaries make a pair. They call it a parakeet. A paramecium is not a pair. A parallelogram is just a crazy square. <laughs> Nobody knows just what a paraphernalia is. And what is half a pair of scissors? It's a single scissor. Someone you adore If you should find romance You'll pant and pant once more And that's a pair of pants Say F I F I N F I N K Fink F I N K Fink 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 R I say R A R A T R A T T Rat R A T T F I N K Rat Fink Yeah 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 Yeah, yeah. Rat Fink yeah, yeah. A B A B C A B C D A B C D E A B C D E F G H I F I say F I I say F I F I M F I N F I N K
once were the best bunny at the Playboy Club. You're getting to be a rabbit with me. I just sit there and stare as you hop from shrub to shrub. You're getting to be a rabbit with me. When I proposed to you that evening last spring, you said you'd be my mate. So I went out and bought a two-carat ring, and both of them you ate. <laughs> Then your ears grew an inch, and your nose began to twitch, and I noticed your tail was attached permanently. <laughs> so I keep you in the backyard in a wooden hutch, 'cause you're getting to be a little too much like Bugs Bunny. You're getting to be a rabbit with me. I feel like something's switching. It's all so strange and new. He can't. My nose is twitching. I'm a rabbit too. I'm getting to be a rabbit. Hippity hop! I love you. I'm getting to be a rabbit like you. Move over, honey, and pass the lettuce. Last night I met a man from Mars, and he was very sad. He said, "Won't you help me find my girlfriend, please?" So I asked him, "What does she look like?" And the man from Mars said, "She's eight foot two, solid blue, five transistors in each shoe. Has anybody seen my gal?" Blue sight nose, rust-proof toes, and when her antenna glows, she's the cutest Martian gal. You know she promised me recently she wouldn't stray, but came the dawn, she was gone, eighteen billion miles away. Her steering wheel has sex appeal. Her evening gown is stainless steel. Has anybody seen my gal? All the bliss of her sweet hydraulic kiss. Has anybody seen my gal? Lovely shape, custom built. Squeeze her wrong, and she says tilt. Has anybody seen my gal? She does the cutest tricks with her six stereo ears. When she walks by, spacemen cry, especially when she shifts her gears. If she's found, run like mad, put her on a launching pad down at Cape Canaveral, and shoot me back my cutie, my supersonic beauty. Send me back my Martian gal. I got fat as a public service. <laughs> When I was a child, my mother said to me, "Clean the plate, because children are starving in Europe." <laughs> And I might point out that that was years before the Marshall Plan was ever heard of. So I would clean the plate four, five, six times a day, because somehow I felt that that would keep the children from starving in Europe. But I was wrong. They kept starving, and I got fat. So I would like to say to every one of you who is either skinny or in some other way normal, when you walk out on the street and you see a fat person, do not scoff at that fat person. Oh no! Take off your hat, hold it over your heart, lift your chin up high, and in a proud, happy voice, say to him. 
Hail to thee, fat person. You kept us out of war. Quite. I'm Sherman, Herman. Oh, that's right. You're the fellow who does all those funny songs, isn't it? Yeah, with my magic parody writing pencil. You say parodies, yeah. Yes. Would you like me to do a fun one for you? Yeah. Give me any song. Uh, how about this one? Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. You've got a lovely what was that? Daughter. Girls are sharp as her or something rare. Rare, 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 rare. But it's sad. She doesn't love me now. She's made it clear enough. It ain't no good to find. Fine. Have a go, Mr. Sherman. It's just the first try. Go on, then. Jack and Jill, they fetched a pail of water. They stumbled on the laces of their shoes. Jack fell down the hill. Jill fell up the hill. When Jill fell up that hill, I called the Daily News. Hello, Daily News? A girl just fell up a hill. <laughs> what do you mean, how? She slipped on the bottom, that's how. It's only a first try. That's great. How did you do that? It was my magic parody pencil. What I did, I just took the British words and changed them to American words. You well, could do the same thing uh, with an American song, changing it to the British words. Do you happen to know many American songs? I don't know any American songs properly. Well, probably the greatest American song that we have can you do la la la? What? La la la. La la la. Yes. La, this la, is la. undoubtedly the most thrilling American song of this generation. <laughs> Hello, mother. La la la. Hello, father. La la la. I am back at Granada. And I'm writing you this letter. Just to say my compound fracture's getting better No one here knows where my trunk is And my bunk is where the skunk is And the food this year's improving All the little black things in it are not moving Now <laughs> oh, we can write an English version of that Yeah All right Here you are, start with this. Great. Hello, Mater. Hello, Peter. I shall mail this letter later. By George, I think he's got it. I am at it. Good old Eaton. Our athletic teams are almost never beaten. Second verse different from the first. Play rugby. <laughs> Where you kick it, then we take a crack at cricket. If you buy a season, season ticket, you could watch me kick it on a sticky wicket. <laughs> Is it true about Lady Plinker? I hope so. She's a stinker. How is Cedric? Incidentally, does he really keep his rose inside his Bentley? I'm enjoying all my studies. Here with all my third grade buddies. We'll learn more things, I am certain. For our new third grade professors, Richard Burton. Thank <laughs> you.